Hello Internet! Today we're going to have a look at the modern SharePoint document set. My name is Henrik Guillermo and please join me on the exploration of Microsoft SharePoint Online document sets. A document set is a group of related documents that you can manage as a single entity. You can create document sets in a single step and then define its characteristics and metadata. To enable document sets for a site collection, go to the site settings and there you go under the site collection administration and click on the site collection features. Find the document sets in the list and then click activate. In order to create a document set content type, you need to go to the site settings and from there you go to the web designer galleries and there you find the site content types. Click on the site content types and you come into the site settings content types, click on create and type in a name of your choice. In this example, I'm going to type in a project type. Type in some definition and then you go to the parent to content type and make sure the type is document set content type. Then you can add a specific group of your choice. In my example, just use the company name, Iltec. Press OK. In order to add this newly created document type to the document library, go to the document library and from there you go to library settings. In the library settings, make sure you click on the advanced settings and allow for content types. This is very important because otherwise you won't see the content types. Now you see the content types below here and now it's, you can just add an existing site content types from the list. Make sure you select the group you just created and make sure you add the correct content type. Clicking on the new button here in the document set, you should see the document set content type. Pressing on the document type, you get a window where you can type in the name and the description of the content type. Type in something that you feel like and press the save button. Now you should see the new content type. You can press back on the documents root library and you should be able to see the new icon of a document set content type. A document set is not that different from a classical folder. It's just a folder with additional metadata and some additional features. So looking here, you can see the comparison. Here you have a typical folder and how it might look. And then we can go back and we can press on the document uh, set and see how this compares. Not so different. A document set is not that different from a classical folder, but there are some differences. For example, you can attach default documents to a document set. This can be done by going to the site settings and pressing the site content types. In here, you can select your specific document set by pressing on your it and there you can go to the document set settings. In here, you can have the default content. You can pick out the file. In this case, I have a budget, a charter and a project plan all tied to the documents I want to have when you start a new document set. So going back to the document library and now we create a new additional project. This time the project will have some default documents in it. So for example, we type, type in the project name uh, number three in this case and we press the save button and now we should see we have those three documents that we attached to the document set. In a similar way, you can also add your own custom content types. You go to the site settings and from there you go to site content types. And here you can scroll down and you can find your specific document set content type. Here you have various columns. You can just add from a new site column and then you can add your own custom content type. In this case, we're going to add a couple of them. 
I'm going to try and add here. I'm going to start with adding uh, maybe a project manager. And I can select which type of uh, information. In this case, it's a person. Just scroll down to the bottom and just press OK. Now we have created a content type of a person type. We add a new one again. And this time we're going to add a risk. And now we do a choice. And we're going to select something choices here. We're going to have high and low. Those are the types of risks we're going to allow for this project. And then we're going to add a third one just because we can. So we're going to try and add something here. We're going to type in something, maybe value. That's always good. And we put that in a currency field and just press OK. Going back to the documents, we should now be able to create some additional properties. Let's say, for example, we want to change the project manager. We're going to have a look up into the Active Directory and find the project managers. We can also set the risks based on the choices. And let's put in a really, really high value of the project. Going back to the document library root folder, we should now be able to add the columns we just created by clicking on add column, show and hide and add product manager risk and value and just press apply. Now we might want to do some additional formatting. We press on the risk column, we format the column and use the template function. And let's say it put a specific color on the low risk and another color on the high risk, just press save. Now we have a really nice formatting. It's possible to do more advanced editing by changing the JSON settings here. Thank you very much for exploring this topic with me today. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe here on YouTube and also consider becoming my Patreon. Until next time, have a great one.